Hello everyone, welcome to another 5-minute tutorial. This one is going to be really, really great for you because if you're like me, you want to automate as much as possible when you are building a funnel, right? You want to do that. And today I bring you a really, really specific video that allows you to automate the mobile optimization like by a ton, okay? This is really great for medium-sized sales page to large and long-form sales page, all right? So stick to the end because this is going to be really, really great. So this thing that I'm bringing you is, what happens is when you want to adjust all the paragraph elements that you have to be a specific size in mobile, you need to go to settings, then mobile size, and adjust it to 16 pixels, for example, right? And you need to do this for every single element that you have in a page, right? Of course, you can clone it, but then when you clone it, you need to adjust the text as well. It will be really, really just easier to click paragraph and adjust it, right? So that is something that is going to consume a lot of your time, okay? So instead of doing this for all the properties, for all the, the elements, I'm going to show you a way to overcome this and automate the process, all right? So let me remove this edit here because I don't really want it to be affected and let me save the page. Cool. Now, let's just preview it for a second. And now, we are going to inspect it as it will be in iPhone X, okay? Right now, we have the text this size, and, is, and if you use the, what the font, you can actually see the size is 24 pixels, right? Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and use a piece of code, okay, CSS code, which by the way, I have in my CSS Master Bundle. If you don't have my CSS Master Bundle, you should get it right now. It's really cheap and brings more than 20 pieces of code that's going to help you in a lot of variety ways. So I'm just going to copy and paste the CSS code right here. And I'm going to explain you what this does. So we are going to target all media, that is a screen, okay? And everything that is max width of 600 pixels. After that, we are going to attribute it something. So for everything that is a div with the HS size one title, which is basically your paragraphs, okay? You are going to attribute the font size 10 pixels and you're going to attribute it as an important, okay? To override any other things from the, the original ClickFunnels editor, all right? So I'm going to be using 10 pixels, not because it's optimal for mobile, but because it's really, really a big different size. So you can notice right away. If I would do this in my mobile, I would use something around 16 pixels, right? 16, 17, 18 pixels, right? So for this case, it's 10 pixels. Now, let's remember, all right, that when we preview it and when we go to inspect, we have this size, okay? So let's go ahead and save with the new CSS code here and see what it did, okay? If we preview it, in desktop is the same, but when you use the iPhone X resolution, which as you can see here is uh, lower than 600 pixels, you are going to get the new element affected without doing it manually every single time, all right? So this is pretty, pretty great trick. And this is one of my five minute tutorials. If you want more five minute tutorials, let me know in the comments. I mean, what you would like to know and I'll create that video. Also, I have my CSS Master Bundle cheat sheet. I mean, you should be using that right now if you are not. There's tons of things. There's gradient text calls, double color header, order form edits, how to edit every single thing in the order form, effects on hover, on all kinds of effects, scale, grade to color, you have full width sections, you have drop down menus, you have FAQ menus, you have so many things to automate your process that is insanely valuable, all right? Now, let me know. What would you like to know for the next five-minute uh, tutorial, all right? And I'll see you in the next video.